Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Ryan Whipple and today I'm going to show you how I built this log sided outhouse. I did it using scrap lumber from my friend's shed building business. All these logs are cutoffs from log railings on cabins. So anyways, enjoy. And if you do, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. So the first thing I had to do was pick a building site. This property we have a lot of jack pine. Some of them are pretty tall and they're breaking and dying. So I was avoiding big trees because I didn't want to cut any down. And I didn't want to have them fall. So that was one thing to think of. And of course trying to dig a hole with this dog can prove challenging itself. Is he helping or is he making it harder? Do all the work for me. <laughs> At first I thought I was going to build a log outhouse. Then I took into consideration the amount of screws I'd need and how much the log screws cost. And the fact that I didn't have enough logs to do it. I decided I'd take these logs, rip them down into two pieces, and basically build a log sided outhouse. I made it through most of the logs before I burned up my table saw. Then I found this one on Marketplace, went and picked it up and finished the job with that. Now what I'll do is pick the shortest one. Twenty-six and three quarter. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna snap a line and make all the logs the same length. That way they'll all land on a stud and then I can have a short section and a long section and stagger them up the wall. It'll turn out looking pretty good. My truck was having some issues with the starter and my thought was if I could build as much as I could inside the garage, I could haul it in my van and not have to drag as many tools. So basically I'm just framing up the walls, throw them in, having all the logs pre-cut, throw them in, building the door, throw it in, as much as I can possibly do in the garage. And it, it seemed to work out pretty nice.
It was definitely nice actually framing the walls at home in the garage before coming out here because I was doing it on flat ground, on sawhorses. Much easier environment to work in than just out in the woods. Pulled this little piece off because I need to rip it down. So I need to pull these nails out. And if you've ever tried to pull nails out of a short little block of wood, it can be a pain in the neck. Because you can't get it to stay still, you don't have the lever. Take it, just get it like that. Take another hammer or a hatchet or something and pop some right. For the inside of the door, I use drywall screws, something cheap and easy. On the outside though, I use these stainless steel screws so they won't rust. Since the hinges overhang the door trim a little bit, I cut these little triangles out and put those underneath of the hinge to fill in that gap, give the hinge something to screw to and be a little rigid. They look pretty nice too.
That sheet of polycarb is 12 feet long. Don't underestimate what you can haul on a Grand Caravan. I did have to bend it though. So this is hitting right here. Now I know a lot of people like to use foam for toilet seats and outhouses and it is really nice. But foam was like $25 and I was being a cheapskate. This seat was eight, so this one. Speaking of being a cheapskate, my goal on this actually was to be super cheap because I got most of the lumber and the building materials off scrap pile. So all in all, I bought five two by fours, one sheet of polycarb, and two four by fours, and a toilet seat. So I probably had, I don't know, 60 bucks into it. Cause the two by fours I bought were roughs on. What I did there was use the nut that comes with the toilet seat to, to fasten the toilet seat down. I used the nut as a spacer because the screws that I had had a shank and had I just ran them down, they would have shanked out and wouldn't have gripped good. But with those spacers, it worked great. That is going to help support the front of the seat.
Well, that's a wrap. I think it turned out pretty good. It's come a long ways from this scrap pile. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.